the last vlog yesterday where I talked about what's been going on and everything, having surgery and everything. And the response has been, y'all have been so, so sweet. Um, it's been amazing. You, the positive comments and support in the comment section, because I was really worried um, about talking about everything that's been going on, just because when you have anxiety, the thought of talking about it in such an open forum as the internet is very, uh, makes it worse, makes anxiety worse. But um, today's Wednesday, start this week's blog. <laughs> vlog. Um, I do not feel well today. I actually, uh, it's like 11. I've tried to eat twice today and each time um, I ended up getting sick. Um, so I haven't kept anything down yet today. Um, yeah, so I took my vitamins and my medicine, but I'm not really sure if it stayed down. Uh, cause I ate not long after that, it did not stay down. So hopefully within the next hour or so, I'll try again and try to get some, some more fluids in and some more food in. Um, I look like Cindy Lou Who with my hair like this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just chilling at home, working from home again today. I did order a new vlog camera. So I've been vlogging on my phone, which has been fine because I have an iPhone and it's good quality, but I wanted a dedicated camera to vlogging so that all of the footage stays in the same place. So I don't miss anything or leave anything out when I'm editing. Um, it took me, it took the last vlog like 24 hours to, um, to render and then upload to YouTube. So hopefully this one won't be as long. Um, it won't take me as long, but I know you guys really liked the long video. So um, I don't know, I really like this vlogging thing and just kind of picking up the camera and talking to you guys as the day goes on. Uh, I'm probably, I, I'm in a meeting right now or it's about to start and then I'm going to go and take a shower because I just feel really lousy. I'm really shaky today. Um, and I know it's because I just haven't been able to keep anything down. So I'm gonna take some medicine, take some Zofran, let that kick in, try to eat again. And then I will check back with you guys later. So you guys really liked the last vlog, which I was super excited about because I enjoyed making it. So I went ahead and ordered a vlogging camera. So this one's really good rated for vlogging. And I just wanted a camera where I could have like one memory card that was all for vlog footage because I was doing it on my phone, which was fine. Um, but if I needed to use my phone, then I couldn't vlog. And it was hard to like make sure I moved everything to a vlog folder so that I wouldn't miss any of the videos. So I figured it would be easier when I'm editing if I had... Um, just one camera and one memory card that is for vlogging in particular. And I also got some stainless steel straws because, you know, trying to save the turtles. I also got this um, external hard drive so that um, when I'm editing on my Mac, that's one thing I hate about this Mac is that the disc fills up super, super quickly and um, it takes forever to edit on it. So if you get an external hard drive, you can actually put all your files and Final Cut Pro. You can edit from this bad boy. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna open this up and go ahead and charge it up and then we will start vlogging on this tomorrow. So I've had a rough couple of days, to be honest with you guys. I asked the last time I checked in with you guys on Wednesday. Today it's Friday, um, but I have felt really, really crappy for the last few days. Um, and I went to the doctor today and I called my surgeon today. So hopefully we're getting on a right track to feeling better, but still gonna vlog, so I'm gonna charge this bad boy up and yeah tomorrow we'll start vlogging on this instead of my phone i'm excited so i'm officially recording on my new vlog camera um i just woke up and put on some clothes and i'm going to take the dogs for a walk um but i gotta find a hoodie because it's cold outside um i didn't sleep well last night you can tell i'm kind of got some dark circles i just tossed and turned a lot but um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair real quick, take the dogs for a walk. Then I'm gonna go to breakfast with my parents. I always go with them on Sundays. We eat at the same restaurant and I go with them so they'll come and get me. So I don't ever wear makeup or anything for that. I just go like this, but I do need to dry my hair cause it's cold outside. So I'm gonna dry my hair, get dressed. It is Sunday 
and like I said I just haven't felt well all weekend so um, I haven't really eaten anything couldn't keep anything down so I've just been like really low energy and like all I did yesterday was lay on the couch and binge watch uh, The Haunting of Bly Manor and Evil. I finished Evil and Bly Manor. Both of them are really good. Um, but I do have a ton of stuff to unbox. So I have, I ordered some stuff for a Walmart haul. So I don't think I'm going to put it in this video. I think I'm going to do a separate Walmart haul video for that. But I do have some stuff from Shein and I ordered some wide calf boots from Torrid. And I want to try those on with you guys because their stuff is like wide foot too and I have narrow feet so most of the time their stuff I have to like size down for it to fit me correctly so we'll try those on and we'll see how it works out um but yeah I'm super excited about my vlogging camera even though I look crazy today um I have got to get fluids in today I did not meet my goal yesterday so I gotta do that and um I've got to get some more calories in today and keep them down so Hopefully today will be a better day. Sorry I have been slacking on the vlogging. I just haven't felt good and literally been laying on my couch. So um, I'm going to blow dry my hair and then I will see you guys later. Hi guys. So I went to breakfast with my parents and now I am about to uh, open some boxes. So I thought I would open them with you guys. So the first thing I'm going to open is BoxyCharm. I mentioned that I get BoxyCharm on my last video. Um, and they actually send this to me. I don't, um, subscribe. I used to subscribe and then they started sending them to me. So, um, I think I have a link, but honestly, I'll have to go and find it. And if I can find it, I'll link it down below, um, for you guys to subscribe if you want to. No pressure. I, um, they do always have really good stuff in them. And I found brands that I had never found before that I really like. So let's unbox this re really quickly. And then I have something kind of fun. And then I have some wide calf boots from Torrid to try on. So. Oh, I just tore the box all up. I did not mean to do that. That was a fail. So I told you guys I watched The Haunting of Bly Manor and I watched Evil. Evil was like really good and super creepy and Bly Manor was really good. It wasn't as scary as like the Haunting of Hill House, which is the other series that they did. Um, but it was good. It was a good show. So, watch. Um, so, I'm going to tell you that this was gifted by BoxyCharm because that's what this little thing tells me to tell you. This was gifted by, gifted by BoxyCharm. So, we have a Spongel, Spongel, Cherry Tonka Musk Body Washed Infused Buffer. I guess it's like, oh, it exfoliates, hydrates, massages. Place sponge under the water, squeeze to absorb, massage in a circular motion to cleanse skin. Squeeze out excess water after each use. I'll have to try this for sure because my skin is so dry right now because I'm getting like a lack of, um, fluids in so my skin is like super dry and I'm blue for some reason right now I don't know why but we're gonna roll with it and my dog keeps hitting the table which is why the table is shaking so um here we have an exfoli exfoliating cleanser from Murad Murad however you say it A H A and B H A exfoliating cleanser I'm guessing this is for your face yes face and neck rinse with warm water hmm I'll have to try that one too. I always love trying out new cleansers. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is Sol de Janeiro. So I love their um, Bum Bum Cream, Boom Boom Cream. Um, so this is the Tinted Lip Butter in Matte, in, in Soulmate. I think that's the color. Hmm. Tinted Lip Butter. I'm gonna have to try this for sure. Cushiony, moisture, soft, luscious lips. Lip tint. Hmm. That's a, I love that brand, so I'm sure I will love that. Let's see, what is this? Glow Alchemist, a matte balancing, balancing moisturizer. So is this like a... Leaves combination skin looking balanced and clear and beautifully radiant. I'll have to try that for sure because I have combo skin. I'll let you guys know. And then we have, ooh, this is from Beauty Bakery. 
and it is a palette called breakfast in bed let's see what colors are in here so we got some like purple mauve colors in here this is a really pretty palette i have a few things from beauty bakery um and i will actually use these colors like some of these colors are like my style so i like those and that one um it looks like there's four mattes and five shimmers in here but i really like those colors so they're good fall colors so that's from beauty bakery so as you can see you get like full size items in boxycharm which is why i started subscribing to it in the first place because i think i did ipsy before that and it was they didn't they don't you get like sample size in ipsy so i really like boxycharm and then like look this is a massive thing of cleanser so that's good so like i said i will put my link down below if i can find it if you guys want to um subscribe and then this i believe is my fun item that i'm super excited about my best friend jennifer she doesn't know that i got this and she's gonna be so hyped <laughs> it is the um <laughs> karaoke microphone so let's see i don't know if you have to charge it or anything but we'll open it up and see um so have you seen that tiktok of that girl that's like i'm riding by a marina and she's like i'm looking for a baby daddy with a boat that's what she, this is what she's using and um i found it on amazon um let's see if this is so funny to me so it charges like with a usb let's see So it has lights on the side, if you can see that. But it looks like it's dead. Yeah, I'll have to charge it. So I have to charge this and then let you guys know. But you can do like mic, echo, music. There's different modes. <laughs> I'm pretty bummed about this. That's just a random purchase. I couldn't help myself. Um, and then I have, I do believe that these are, in the last vlog, I talked about those, um, Lane Bryant on the go pants, on the go ankle pants that I loved them. So I went online and ordered the other two pairs. So I had, they sent me the cheetah pair and then I went online and just ordered myself the navy pair and the black pair. So when I ordered these, they were buy one, get one 50% off. And then there was a coupon code for like $40 off or something like that. It ended up coming out to a I got two of the pants for the price of one. So that was a good deal. If they still have a deal on these, I will link them below again for you guys. But I got the size 20 because that was what I was wearing that day and they fit really well. Um, so now I have three pairs of these and they're perfect for work and they're so comfortable. And I'm getting a Snapchat, let's see. Now this gonna be some bullshit. I park off the road like in a neighborhood and then I see this shit <laughs> these fools are riding down the street on nags see that shit alright so like I said earlier I ordered these from Torrid because I have big calves but I don't have wide feet so I, I sometimes struggle with Torrid shoes because they're mostly for wide feet um and but their boots are always so cute so i ordered two pair of boots Let's see if i can get them out they're the same they're just two different colors so let's see i ordered the gray pair these are the over the knee so they're like that's supposed to be like thigh high boots so as you can see they have the wide calf and they do have a zipper, which is great. So you don't have to just like sh try to shove your foot in them. And then they have a really, really small heel. So I'll have to try these on and see how they fit. But I got the gray pair and I do believe I got the black pair. Let's see if I got the black pair. Yes. I got the black pair because I have a pair of brown boots that I wear all the time that I absolutely love. They're Carlos Santana brand and I love, love, love them. 
um, but I can't ever find them anywhere um, for me to link for you guys. So, okay, so let's put these bad boys on and see how they fit. Um, like I said, I sized, so I'm about an eight and a half, sometimes a nine, depending on the kind of shoe, but I got these in an eight, hoping that that would make up for the fact that I don't have wide feet. So let's see. Okay, they feel good in the foot. They feel like they're gonna fit. And I don't know about you, but I like my boots to be tight on my ankles and tight on my legs so that they're not constantly falling down. Guys, I don't know if these are gonna fit like over my big old thighs. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just didn't pull them around enough. <laughs> just kidding. Definitely tight on my thigh. Here are the boots. Excuse my dogs. So as you can see, they're really tight right here, but that's, you can unlace them in the back and make them looser. So this is just me putting them straight on. I haven't adjusted them in any way, but the eight and a half, I mean the eight fits well on my foot. Like my foot doesn't feel like it's swimming in it. So I actually really like these. I'm definitely gonna keep them. They only have a small heel, so they'll be easy and comfortable to wear. And walk in and as you can see they lace all the way up the back so definitely gonna keep them let me guys let me know if you have these in the comments and if they're comfortable to wear for long periods of time I literally just have them on with Nike workout pants so obviously this is not the look I'd wear them with but they are cute and I do like them this is them from the front. See, they have a stretchy band all the way up the side. And Knox is very interested. So they zip all the way up here. See, I need to loosen all of this in the back so that they're a little bit looser. I saw some people complaining that they weren't truly wide calf. They felt like they weren't. But you can loosen them and kind of adjust them to your leg. Because I carry a lot of weight here. Um, so that makes like thigh high boots hard because I carry a lot of weight in my upper thighs. So, but I like these. These are cute. Torrid for the win. Okay, so those are a win. Like, like I said, I need to adjust them so that they are a little looser in the back, which I'm going to show you guys right now. These are really well made too. They feel sturdy. They feel like they're going to last, um, which is good. So as you can see, you can loosen this all the way down the back and make it kind of adjust to you. Now, the more you loosen it, the more you're gonna be able to see because it has a little like flap that covers, but as you loosen, obviously that's going to move. So just be aware that you will be able to see through them if you loosen them a lot, but I'll be able to loosen them and get them to where they fit really well and look really cute. But I just wanted to show you first impression of these and so far, so good. I don't have to send them back, which I was very nervous about. So that's good. And then, like I said, I got the exact same boot in black. So I'm sure you'll be seeing these on Instagram and all that kind of stuff coming up because it's boot season and that's like my fave. So good purchase from Torrid. I will link those below. Like I said, I size down a half a size if you don't have really wide feet. Um, but those didn't seem like overly big. I have a couple of pairs of shoes from Torrid that I size down on and my foot is still like swimming in them. Those do not feel that way, but I do have some thicker socks on today. Um, so yeah, so those are the things that I wanted to unbox for you guys. Now my man friend is calling me, so I will check back with you ladies later on. I'm terrible at vlogging this weekend. Like I did the unboxing. Say hi, Swayze. Say hi. Hi, I know. And there's Knox too. Um, so I did the unboxing earlier and then I haven't done anything since. So, um, but I haven't done anything. I've been cleaning my house, I did dishes, I've done laundry. Um, I'm still in a sports bra and workout pants. Hi, buddy. I know, it's so exciting that we're vlogging. Can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi. This is Swayze. He's huge now, for those who have been following along. Um, then, okay, thank you, I love you too. 
I love you too. Can you get down? Can you get down so mommy can fly? And then this one is Knox. That's my other one. He is my chubster. He's a little chubby these days, but it's okay. We love him anyways. Um, but yeah, I haven't done anything, so I haven't done anything to vlog. But I definitely plan to do something with my life tomorrow and like do my makeup and show you guys some outfits. But today, honestly, has been Sunday chill day, not Sunday fun day. I haven't done anything. Last weekend was so busy and I had so much stuff going on that it was kind of nice this weekend to just not do anything at all, to be honest. Um, so I started binge watching Vampire Diaries like months and months ago because um, I had never finished it. And so I started binge watching that and I'm trying to finish it, but I'm getting like over it very quickly. It's like feels like the same story like a tragedy happens every season and they have to like fight off some bad guy and you know um and i have this thing with like really disliking main characters of shows that i love so like one tree hill i cannot stand peyton um brooke is my girl but i'm the same way with vampire diaries like i don't really love elena so and now i'm struggling because there's like four different characters that elena plays so i'm like okay um so yeah, that's really all that's going on in my life. I'm chilling with my dogs, who is on the top of the couch right now, doing God knows what. Um, somebody just dropped off a package, so they're like hype right now. Swayze, Knox obviously can't hear, but Swayze like goes crazy whenever he hears somebody at the door. So then that makes Knox go crazy. So I've literally just been chilling, you guys. So um, I told y'all it was kind of boring, and you said you wanted vlogs anyway. So uh, vlogs and dogs, that's what we're doing today. Oh! Are you okay? You fell down. Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. Oh my God. See? That's why you shouldn't climb. So yeah. Doing nothing. Hanging out with the dogs. Catch you guys later. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a grocery haul and you guys said yes. I love watching grocery hauls. I don't do a lot of stuff in my kitchen right now because... I don't love my kitchen at my current house, but my new house is going to have the most beautiful kitchen. So I'll be like probably doing some cooking videos and all of that kind of stuff when I get in the new house. But right now, these it's, the lighting in here is not great. This, the cabinets are really dark. Um, so it just doesn't have a great lighting situation for me to film in. But like I said, my new kitchen will. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from Target. I just did a little grocery haul. Um, I have my niece tonight so my niece and my brother are going to come spend the night tonight and we're going to do like a movie night and um so i picked up a few things for her and then a few things for myself uh, i had not been to target in so long and i had therapy this morning and it's not too far from my therapist's office so i decided to run over there actually put makeup on and clothes on today um my allergies are acting up quite a bit uh, there's it's cotton season and i have like two or three cotton fields around my house and it always makes my allergies act up during this time of year so i don't have like that much eye makeup on or anything like that but i'm going to show you guys what i got like i said it's not a ton but i love watching grocery hauls so i thought i would do one too so let me show you guys what i picked up from target okay so like i said some of this stuff is for my niece she loves chicken noodle this stuff is just stuff I need to put away <laughs> but um she loves chicken noodle soup so I got her some chicken noodle soup so if she wants to have that while she's here she can have that I also got some trail mix um that I thought we could have during the movie and I got uh her and my brother some gummy bears because they uh, my brother loves gummy bears and soda sawyer so um I picked this up for myself this is the low sodium natural jiff creamy um, it's got seven grams of protein which is super important for me right now i'm trying to get the most protein in that i possibly can so i got that and then i got uh, where are my apples i got these apple slices to eat with that so um it's just like already pre-cut apples because i'm lazy um if you've watched tiktok lately you know everybody's eating these like sweet mini peppers with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning so i got that so I got some cream cheese and the, is it going to focus? There we go. Uh, so I got this cream cheese. It's not one to focus. So I got this cream cheese right here and then I got the sweet peppers 
And then I also got a couple of cucumbers to eat with that and then just put um, everything but the bagel seasoning on top of it. I got some protein granola because I like to put this on my yogurt, my Greek yogurt in the mornings. Um, and then I also got the Good and Gather brand peppered, peppered beef jerky. This has a lot of protein in it. I um, normally get the Jack Link brand. I think that's the brand. But this is the Target brand, so I thought I would try that and just see how it is. And then my therapist actually recommended Kashi uh, Go, and this has nine grams of protein in it, and it's honey almond flax crunch. So I can't wait to try that out. Um, and I drink that, I mean, I eat it with the um, Fair Life milk, which also has a lot of protein in it. So I got that. I got some Diet Dr. Pepper, because sometimes I just need a Diet Dr. Pepper. Uh, most of the time, I, this is really gross, but right now, since I've had surgery, I let them go flat and then drink them because the carbonation is not good for me. Um, and then I have fallen in love with orange juice since having surgery. Um, it just has so much vitamin C in it. It just make, gives me energy, makes me feel better. And I don't know about y'all, but I love high pulp orange juice. My whole family does. I know some people think that that's gross, but like literally, if we can chew it, then we would because we love high pulp orange juice. Um, I got a couple of these Good and Gather brand. Got a couple of these Good and Gather brand Greek yogurts. Um, I normally get the triple zero uh, Oikos Greek yogurt, but they had this, so I wanted to try it. They had peach and mango, so I wanted to try those. I also got some 100% cranberry juice. I absolutely love cranberry juice. Like I said, juice right now is like my saving grace. It makes me feel so much better. Most of the time, I got some Laughing Cow garlic Got some Laughing Cow Garlic and Herb uh, Cheese. I like to eat these with the little mini club crackers for a snack. That's really good. Um, I got some ground beef to make some hamburger patties and some sweet potato fries to cook in my air fryer. And then I also got some uh, chicken tenders for my niece for tonight for dinner. So that is what I picked up at Target. Like I said, not a big grocery haul, but just a few things that I needed uh, for her and just for myself. So that is what I got from Target. So I'm gonna put all of this away and then I have have some laundry to put away and then I desperately, desperately need to clean out my car before I get my knees tonight um, because it has like dog hair and stuff in it so I need to clean that out. So I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna get to work on that. So I'll talk to you guys later. So I just realized that I completely forgot to talk about the makeup that I picked up while I was at Target. So I did get the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen Mascara. Um, I normally, I'm very sensitive to mascaras and the L'Oreal Voluminous, the original, that's like the black bottom with the gold top is normally the only kind that I use. Um, but I thought I would give this one a try since it's the same kind of brand. I also got a NYX or NYX um, liquid liner. So uh, I'm almost out of my Kat Von D and I really don't want to go all the way to Sephora to purchase another one. So I picked that up and then I just got an Alme. Um, eyeliner pencil in brown for the days that I don't want to do a full wing liner I'll just do that um, on my waterline and just gives me a little bit of definition so just wanted to show you those real quick because I just found them as I was cleaning up so, so I'm going through mail and I just got my bill from surgery right so I have uh, really great insurance and it was cut my surgery was covered but before I had two friends that went to the exact same doctor, let me fix this here, as I did, had the exact same surgery, and they did self-pay. When you, when they self-paid, it was 10 grand for the surgery. My insurance covered the surgery in full, so I've only had to pay like a little bit here and there uh, for different appointments and things like that. Well, I just got my bill, and if you work in medical billing or anything like this, please tell me how this works. So why were my total charges with insurance for my surgery $72,000. They charged my insurance $72,000 for my surgery. $72,855. My insurance paid $72,380 and I owe $475. So how is it for the exact same surgery at the exact same place that with the same doctor that my surgery cost $72,000, but my two friends that self-paid, paid, paid $10,000 each. If you are in the medical field, please explain this to me because my mind is blown. Now, I'm so thankful that I have insurance that covered it because that's a lot of money either way, but I just wanna know how that discrepancy is so different. With insurance, same surgery, 
72,000 without insurance or with self-pay $10,000. How? How is that possible? Someone explain it to me in the comments, please. So, um, that's why insurance is so freaking expensive in the United States because of that kind of stuff right there. So anyway, thankful to have insurance. I know there's a lot of people that don't and insurance is crazy, crazy, crazy expensive and we need affordable health care in this country. So just had a rant, get that off my chest and tell you guys because I was shook. And now I finished cleaning out my car. Now I'm going to do laundry. Honestly, you guys, I don't even know when the last time I picked up the camera was. I can't tell you what I was doing last um, this past week I have been struggling quite a bit. Uh, I went and got some more fluids, um, some IV fluids. I think you saw that clip. So yeah, I am, it is, what's today? Wednesday after work. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog cause I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow um, because my man friend is coming into town. He is long distance and he's coming in town so um, I'm going to get my house ready and, and my new house. I did my framing walkthrough at my new house this week and that was awesome. So I got that taken care of and my realtor says that we're going to list this house on November 1st ish to sell. So I've got so much stuff to get out of this house. So I got another bagster. So you guys will probably see all of that in the next vlog, but I wanted to jump on here and in this vlog, I feel like it was a really disjointed vlog and there wasn't a lot going on in it, but it's real life. And, um, I have, I know I mentioned hauls or I was going to do hauls in this one. Um, but I have a haul from, I'm going to do actual haul videos from Shein, Walmart, I did order some workout clothes from Old Navy, but I don't know if I'm going to do a haul from those. Let me know if you want me to. And Reb Dolls. I'm going to do, um, I have a little bit of sponsored comment, content from them. So those will be coming up instead of just putting them randomly in this vlog. I decided to do full haul videos for you guys. But yeah, I just want to jump on here and end this one so that I can get it edited and up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully there'll be more going on in the next one.